Have you ever wondered how far you walked? Maybe you've asked adults in your family how far a place is from where you live, or perhaps you've had someone check how tall you are. All these things involve measurements of length. What exactly is length? How is length measured? And what are some of the ways you can measure length? During the next few minutes, we're going to answer these questions and others as we learn how to measure length. This carpenter is measuring the length of a board. What exactly is length? Length is the measure of an object from end to end. Most solid objects have a length that can be measured. Even your body has a length that is measured from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head. This measurement is called your height. Distance is another measure of length. Distance is a longer measure of length from one point to another. These runners, for example, are running a distance of five kilometers. The distance to towns is printed on this sign. There are several different tools used to measure length and distance, but first let's discuss the units of measurement for length and distance. If a friend were to ask you how far it was from your house to school, you wouldn't just say three. Your friend wouldn't know if it was three kilometers or three miles to your school. The words miles or kilometers are called units of measurement. When describing length or distance, you always need to include a unit of measurement after the number. In the English system of measurement, commonly used in the United States, length is measured in inches, feet, and yards. You observe. What's the unit of measurement on this sign? That's right. It's in miles. In the English system of measurement, longer distances are measured in units of miles. In most other countries and in science. The metric system of measurement is used. In the metric system, length is measured in units of centimeters or meters. Longer distances in the metric system are measured in kilometers. So, road signs in metric countries list the distance to towns in kilometers. You probably have a measuring tool like this in your classroom or in your house. You decide. What is this measuring tool? It's a ruler. Rulers are used to measure the length of shorter objects. Metric rulers measure smaller items as well. The units on a metric ruler are in centimeters. This tool, called a yardstick, is used to measure longer objects in inches. This is a meter stick. It's used to measure longer objects in centimeters. You may have seen carpenters or other people that build things use this type of measuring tool, called a tape measure. Tape measures are very useful because their length is adjustable, depending on the length of the object being measured. These are just a few examples of the many different types of measuring tools. Now let's take a look at how you can use these tools to measure length.
As we saw, rulers are important tools for measuring length. It's fun and easy to use a ruler. Let's say you want to measure a 15 centimeter length of paper for an art project. First, make sure you're using the centimeter side of the ruler. Next, line up the left side of the ruler with the number zero and the end of the piece of paper. Then find the number 15. You decide. What does 15 stand for? The number 15 stands for 15 centimeters. Make a mark on the paper next to the number 15. You can then cut the paper to make it 15 centimeters long. Yardsticks and meter sticks work in a similar way but with longer objects. Tape measures are fun measuring tools that you can easily use as well. At the end of a tape measure is a small metal piece that is placed along the edge of an object being measured. The tape is then stretched to the desired length. When finished, the measuring tape simply rolls itself back into its case. During the past few minutes, we've explored the interesting process of how to measure length. We began by looking at the difference between length and distance. The importance of including units of measurement was then highlighted. Next, we explored the use of measuring tools such as rulers, yardsticks, meter sticks, and tape measures. We concluded by exploring some of the fun ways you can use measuring tools to measure length. Fill in the correct word to complete the sentence. Number one. Is the measure of an object from end to end? Number two, is a longer measure of length. Number three, miles or kilometers are of measurement. Number four, this measuring tool is a and number five, this string has a length of centimeters. <laughs>